If you have a minor child and you want them to be the beneficiary of your life insurance policy, there is a right way and a wrong way to do it. You cannot just put down that child's name as beneficiary. But if you didn't know this and you did put them down as the beneficiary, there is a good chance that the insurance company will simply require the natural parent who survives to get a guardianship set up. And that's gonna cost them thousands of dollars in most cases. If you go to an attorney who only practices probate law, they're gonna set up a guardianship because that's what you asked for, but it's gonna cost you thousands of dollars in attorney's fees because it is actually a court proceeding and you have to get a court order to do that. However, I am an attorney who practices both probate and family law, and I have been successful in getting around that requirement by having a conservatorship instead of a guardianship. Surprisingly, you will find that most attorneys who practice probate law don't do family law, and most that do family law don't do probate law. To me, I find that very surprising because they both deal with community and separate property and with dividing property and with family relationships. And I've done both family law and probate law in San Antonio, Texas since 1987. And because I have that knowledge of how both systems work, whenever someone comes to me and they have this letter from the insurance policy that says, we will not pay to a minor, you must get a guardian or conservator for that child, I go the conservatorship route. A conservatorship in Texas is done through the district court, not the probate court. And if you can uh, find a divorce decree between the parents and one of them's already been named managing conservator or possessory conservator of the child, then you're home free. It just takes a few dollars to get a certified copy of that versus a few thousand dollars to get a guardianship set up. And if the parents were not divorced and named, no one was named as conservator, we can go into the district court in a suit affecting parent-child relationship and ask that the surviving parent be named as conservator much less expensively than we can get a guardianship set up. A guardianship requires a bond and annual reporting to the court. A conservatorship does not. If you like this information and want to learn more, then please like this and subscribe to my channel.